What's going on YouTube? It is Greg Lock Fitness. You are joining me with one, two, three, four, five bananas and a whey protein sample, which I'm going to bang in a shaker and drink. And we've also got a coffee noir, just a standard black coffee. So it's time to eat all of this and drink all of that. And let's go! The pre workout supplement that we're having today is SciTech Superhero. It's probably one of my favourite pre workouts. There we go guys, that's all five bananas consumed. I uh, had a little bit of bran that I had left over from yesterday and like a litre of water. If you think having five bananas is unhealthy, I'm sorry you don't have a clue about nutrition and you need to do some googling before you think that. But if you don't, you're a good man or woman. What's going on guys, just got into the gym. It took me like two hours from when I set out. I did a little bit of shopping and tomorrow's video will be man versus food bodybuilder edition as I'm going to a buffet, which is gonna be a class video to make. So I've just drank this, 450 more calories. We've got loads of calories to catch up on after this and it's Sunday so the shops are shut. So what I did was I bought a pizza and I bought some chicken and I've got some rice at home. Anyway guys, let's get on with the workout. My knee left and right my knees are starting to play up slightly um sort of a tendon is feeling again but we're going to start with the deadlifts if it's hurting too much we'll just drop the weight or not do the exercise let's get it oh what's going on ladies and gentlemen another saucy voiceover starting off on the deadlifts so we moved up to 120 kilograms four uh, sorry five times five uh, it felt pretty good. Last set was a, a little struggle. What I like to do here, I try to grab the bar and then rotate my elbows in towards my body, as you can see here. Doing it with the top off to try and look for more symmetry in the mirror. Not just uh, showing my gains, but as you can see, always suck your stomach in, your core in. A little bloat there from the uh, three litres of water sitting inside of us. Oh, we, we stayed tight. All right, lap pull then, we moved this up to like 75 kilograms and I'll be honest, this was my second set. And I'll be honest, this is probably too heavy for me at the moment. So potentially, if it doesn't feel lighter next week, I will be putting the weight back to 70. But yeah, I don't like having to sway like this and having my shoulders raise up, but at least I'm critiquing myself. Okay, on this we moved to 40 kilograms and I've changed the movement slightly. Before I was pulling it directly up and I was using a lot of biceps, a lot of rear delts. Now I'm doing it as more like a swift movement and trying to stretch my lats a bit more. On to pull-ups. I only managed to get six reps for four sets, six, 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 six. But at the end of the set, I did scapular pulls, which are these. So basically you're locking your scapula back. So I did those until failure, and it really burns your lats. Um, I've created the name Scapular Pulls, by the way, if anyone tries to copy that. But yeah, give this a try, and then hopefully pull-ups will go better next time. Okay, last back exercise was the shrugs. 4 times 10, 40 kilograms. That's back all finished, now moving into biceps, starting with the standing curls, we have to use 28 kilograms. If it's too heavy and if I can't keep good form for at least 4 reps, we'll just drop the weight. Feeling knackered for some reason, I think it's the weather. I don't know what it is, man, <laughs> the weather. <laughs> okay guys, please don't judge this form. I am the king of form, and this is terrible form. I'll judge it for myself, it is absolute shoot. Although, I am actually getting a squeeze at the top there, and slowly coming down there to elongate the bicep, and elongate again. So this is 28 kilograms, so I've got five reps on each arm, and then I moved to 24 to get the last five, and that was, the set complete. Then I did 24 and I got a set of 10, which was really good. The form was solid. My core stayed solid. I didn't bounce or anything. And then I moved for the set, uh, third and fourth set, 20, wait, is that 24? Yeah, it is. Sorry, uh, third and fourth set was 24s again. Um, wait, is that 24? <laughs> That's 20... Four or twenty six. <laughs> yeah, it's twenty four. That's confirmed it. So yeah, look here, um, that happened actually because I didn't have a clue what I was going to say for the rest of the voiceover. So I managed five reps each arm with the twenty eight. Didn't think that was going to happen. The form wasn't the best, but I did try to at this point control it down. And then we did a fifteen second rest, and then into the twenty fours to get the last five. So I think the next three sets will be twenty fours, which is really good. A good improvement. Even though the form's not bang on, it's not too bad. But a good improvement in the fact that we're not dropping to 22s. 
So we are progressing a lot on biceps. Okay, moving into the rope pulls. Again, potentially too heavy for me after my biceps were fatigued off all of the back movements. But again, I still look for the squeeze at the top. Um, always as well on this exercise, try to keep your scapula back and don't lean into it too much. Okay, on to probably becoming one of my favourite bicep exercises. So this is 45 kilograms. I managed to get the 10 reps here. The form completely went. But to be fair, my elbow is the only pivot, but I'm swaying a little bit. I am getting the contraction at the top there and then back down. The form isn't great, but sometimes it's going to be a bit reckless when you are moving the weights up this much. But when I move back down again, say if I do the deload week, the other weights will be easier and then these become easier. So, you know, we've got to force our body past it. 45, I did one set of 10 and then I did one set of six and then, no, seven, sorry, and went back to get the last three. And then I moved it down to 40 to get two times 10 without rest pausing. Okay, moving on to these. The only problem is with this exercise is my grip. It like I've got this girly grip after all of the other bicep exercises, but we did 24 kg 2 times 10, and then we moved it down to 22 2 times 10. Don't be afraid to move it down, man. You want the squeeze, you want the form. See the grip's slightly going. It is a bit annoying. All right, last exercise. I'm just going to quickly explain now. 36 kilograms, um, 2 times 10, and then 32 2 times 10. I just want to say before this voiceover ends. I am deeply depressed with everything that's happened in London and I'm watching this Manchester concert at the moment and it's extremely powerful. So rest in peace to everyone that passed away and my thoughts are with every family and friend. Thanks a lot guys. Back and biceps, phase five completed. Hopefully you can hear me over the cars. Got me your phones in listening to the One Love Manchester concert uh, currently. Pharrell Williams, I think, on. And, um... <laughs> they're laughing in the car. Um, back to my train of thought. Yeah, Pharrell Williams currently on. Robbie Williams, really, really good. Really got all the fans singing and that. And, you know, it just shows how strong a community normal people are. And I'm just going to continue to listen to the rest of this. Then when I get back, watch it while I'm going to eat my post-workout food as well. But, yeah. The community's come together all over, not just people in Manchester, you know, Justin Bieber's there, so it's massive, mate, it's massive if his name's on it. Everyone comes together in the end anyway. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. It has been Greg Lock Fitness. Subscribe for more. Double Sainsbury's bag. Peace.